We're located here in Reina, halfway between Nazareth and the village of Cana here in Galilee. This is an incredibly interesting site, which served both as a quarry and a workshop for the production of stone vessels 2,000 years ago. Here we are inside the cave, the artificially hewn cave. You can see here very clearly the signs of quarrying on the ceiling, on the walls as well. We can see blocks of stone that have begun to be carved out. These would have become, eventually, um, stone vessels. During the excavations, we found tremendous amounts of production waste, mostly mugs with a single handle, produced on the outside manually with a knife, while the inside was removed as a single core. During the course of the excavations, we found thousands of these cores, each core representing a single mug. The fact that the Jews were using stone vessels for the sake of purity appears in the New Testament in the book of John. Here we have an account of Jesus coming with his mother Mary to a Jewish wedding in the village of Cana in Galilee. And there they had wine set out for the wedding feast. And when the wine ran out, Jesus' mother said to Jesus, do something about it. And Jesus said that they should bring six special jars, stone jars, according to the purification rites of the Jewish people, and these stone jars were full of water and the water turned into wine and it was a result of the water turning to wine that people began to appreciate the qualities of Jesus. From our point of view the interesting part of it here is that the water and then subsequently the wine was in stone jars according to the purification considerations of the Jews in Galilee in the early Roman period. For me it's very exciting to find this place because I've excavated in many villages in the Galilee from the early Roman period. For example in Kfalkana and in Nazareth and in all these villages in the houses, when you find the houses, you find a lot of pottery and you always find remains of some stone vessels because every Jewish household had these vessels and so to discover the place where they were manufacturing these vessels is very special.